welcome back friends today we are going to be working with number bonds and addition facts to 10 this is something that we did way back when you were barely starting first grade probably in August or September so I expect all of you to remember and follow along as we practice addition to 10 using number bonds so number bonds are a great addition strategy a number bond is made of two parts and a whole. You can see that the seven and the three are what we call the parts, and then the 10 is the whole. The two parts are added together to get the whole or the sum. Seven plus three are the parts because when you put them together, they make 10, or we say the whole. Let's practice addition 10. Just remember, the part plus a part equals the whole. So when can you use number bonds? You can use number bonds with addition, um, especially with um, addition uh, word problems. So I try to make these super simple so that you guys can review and then maybe we can do another one that has a little bit um, bigger numbers. But let's just review first. Read along with me. There are two black kittens playing, three more white kittens join them. So, what should we do? We need to find the parts and we need to find the whole. The little um, story here tells me that there are two black kittens, so that has to be a part. And there are three white kittens, so two plus three. Are, so two and three are the parts, so let's find the answer, the whole, or the sum. There's going to be many ways to say that. So let's take a look. Two plus three are here. Two black kittens, three white kittens, and in total or in sum or the whole or the answer is five. Then after that, you can write it out in, in an addition sentence like this one here, which I'm circling, two plus three equals five. So super easy, you can do this boys and girls, you can do this. Let's try making a number bond with this addition word problem. You can use a whiteboard, an eraser, you can, a uh, whiteboard, whiteboard marker, sorry. You can also use um, a journal to, um, Follow along with me. So read with me. Here we go. Five butterflies are colorful. Four butterflies are spotted. So we need to fill in the parts. We know that five are colorful and four are spotted. So I would put five here. Five plus the four that are spotted here. So five plus four equals, write the answer down please. Let's see if you have the right answer. All right, here we go. Did you guys do that correctly? Five and four are the parts. The answer or the whole is nine in in addition sentence, we would write 5 plus 4 equals 9. Let's try the next one. We have a lot of examples. Read with me, please. There are six red roses. There are three white roses. So I know that 6 and 3 are the parts. So I'm going to put, write them into this spot here and this one here. And then write the answer here. I'm going to give you about five seconds. You can always pause it if you need. All right, let's see. Hopefully you got the right answer. Six and three are the parts. When you add them together, you get nine. There are two black spiders. There are three red spiders. Pause it as you, um, so that you can write your answer. Two plus three equals five. So in total, 
there are five spiders. Ooh, I do not like spiders. Those are creepy. Moving on. Seven flowers are pink. One flower is blue. So you know that seven and one are the parts. Try to find the whole or try to find the answer. Pause the video so that you can do the work. And when you are ready, push play. So seven plus one equals eight. Use the picture to make a number bond. Sometimes in a worksheet or a math book, you will not get the numbers given to you. You have to use the pictures to make the number bond so you can see the different groups. I see a group of children here and another group of children here. So I'm going to count them now. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. There are eight children in this group, so that is one part. And there are one, two, three children here. So eight plus three. Pause the video and push play when you have your answer. Eight plus three equals 11. So try these by yourself. There are two brown, what are those, tadpoles? There are two brown tadpoles and one green tadpole. How many tadpoles in total? Pause the video and push play when you're ready. Oh, I didn't have the answer. So maybe a bigger brother or sister can check your answer. Maybe mom, dad, grandma, grandpa. Um, babysitter can check it for you. So again, there are two brown tadpoles and one green tadpoles. How many are there in total? There are four blue sharks and one gray shark. How many sharks in total? I'm not going to have the answer for you on this one. You can ask a family member to check your work. Always remember you can pause the video whenever you'd like so that you can finish the problem and then just push play when you're ready to move on. Use the picture to make a number bond. There are three strawberries and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine oranges. Use the picture to make a number bond. The boy has four boxes in his hands. Four of those boxes fell. So he, has, he is holding four and four are on the ground. How many are there in total? All right, friends, so let's go ahead and move on. So you won't always have pictures I think it's a little bit easier when you actually have the numbers and you can see it, but you have to remember um, what, what these are. So these here, this five and this blank one, are the parts and this is the whole. So five plus something equals 10. Five plus something equals 10. What is this missing number? Try to figure it out. So five, you can also use manipulatives like we did in class, like those little cubes or those little bears or those little chips or those little gems that we used in class. Um, or you can use like a toy, um, toys that you have. Um, you can use that so that you can solve the problem. So what is the missing number? Two plus what equals nine? I'm going to use this from now on. So 2 plus something equals 9. What is that missing number? 7. So here we have two parts, but the whole is missing, so you have to add 4 plus 4. 4 plus 4 equals, write down your answer. Remember, I'm going to keep saying this. Pause the video so that you can write it out, and then when you have the answer, Push play so that it can resume and you can check your answer. 
but I really want you to try these on your own. 4 plus 4 equals 8. Okay, so here, sometimes you'll have a number bomb with just the whole, and you have to figure out what two parts create or make that number. Um, what you can do here, there are going to be very different answers. You can have 0 plus 12, 1 plus 11, um, 2 plus 10, 3 plus 9, 6 plus 6. There are different ways to make this number, so use whichever comes to your mind first. What came to my mind was 11 plus 1. Okay, so here we have a 7. Let me find my pointer. We have 7 plus something equals 10. What is this missing number? All right, friends, so your job is to find all the ways to make 10. What you can do is write addition sentences. I'll give you one. 0 plus 10 is 10. Um, but there are a lot of other ways. I really, really like this. There are a lot of other ways to make 10. So make number bonds. Use manipulatives. Use your little toys. Use pictures. Um, use what you have to make the number bonds. Remember, as I say in most videos, please share your work with me through message on Class Dojo. They make me really, really, really proud, and I am hoping that you guys are liking this video. This one was a little bit long, so I'll finish it here. Bye, friends.